I don't know the butter years thing and the bagger bagger thing and the, the, the carry news business and stuff like that, you know. This morning I wake up to, 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 to Miss Lady She. Um, I don't even remember about she. Um, what's she name? What's she name again? Nuncia, where, 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 where her name? Miss Lady, I don't even remember you. Okay? I don't even remember you, Miss Lady. I don't remember nothing about you. I don't know you. You know, Anuncia, you can't. I, I, you were on my Instagram at one point. You know, you were on my Instagram. I don't know how I ended up finding you on my Instagram, like uh, from my cake page. From my cake page from my cake page i don't know how i ended up seeing your page but i guess it's because you are i don't know i mean i know we probably have because you know how um instagram does it you know how instagram will show you people that you might want to follow or something something and i'm like okay i don't even i didn't even know you half of these people i don't even know i don't even know of them i don't even know them they just want clout from tina chen like, I don't even know you or remember you, Miss Lady. Go have several seats somewhere. Go deal with whatever it is you're dealing with. But, Lady, I, I didn't even remember you. It wasn't until this morning where I, when, I, when, when, I, when I read your long uh, status, I, I realized that you were talking about me. Lady, you, you messaged me on, on my arm. Um, you messaged me on my WhatsApp sometime in a... In a 2019, yeah, and I thought you messaged me. When you messaged me, I was shocked because I have heard of you, but we never communicated. But you messaged me asking for a cake for a customer. And I said, well, um, and I told you the price of the cake. And that was it. So I don't really know anything else about you, Miss Lady. So whatever little drama you're trying to tweak up, Nuncia, um, baby love, we're not going to have that, okay? Um, You know, we're not going to have that, baby, because I don't know you like that. You inquired about a cake, like, back in 2019, and it was like a straightforward conversation because I deal with all of my customers professionally, um, and when I saw your name, I said, hi, Nuncia. And it was kind of shocking to me because I know that you and people were friends. You and people were big friends. So to see your number pop up on my phone, on my WhatsApp out of the blue, it was kind of shocking, but I took it for what it was. You were inquiring about cakes. You know, I didn't really get into the conversation with you. I was just saying, hi, you know, I hope you're okay. You know, I heard that you had a stroke you know and you know i hope you're feeling better knowing that my dad had a stroke i was just i was simply empathizing with you um you know because you had a stroke you know i think that's the human thing to do any good human will do that any decent human being will empathize with somebody who has had any type of illness or anything like that you know so i said i hope you're doing okay i heard you had a stroke you understand and i kept it moving it was never any long conversations about anybody or any loose con we never had any loose conversations about anybody or anything nuncia so please don't even try to you know that was me you asked me about a cake yes as a customer and i responded and, and told you the price and i left it like that and you know in between that you know small talk i heard you had a stroke are you okay you know I, I don't get it and that was back in 2019 what's wrong with you people like are you people insane so you're not used to pe people empathizing with you you're not used to people being human to you lady i don't know you from nowhere okay me don't know nothing about you i'm in a one know nothing about you me don't know nothing about you so please go have several seats and don't start shit because i realize a lot of you will come from that camp day it's like, you know what, start shit with me for no reason. No one say, I'm mean, going like, I mean, to know you. And you're old, you're way older than I am. And, you know, I'm not going to argue with my elders. You understand me? I was taught to respect my elders. So please, lady, um, do not come at me. You understand? 
Don't come at me. I don't know nothing about you. As one demon done, another demon pick up themselves. Lady, back to the pits of hell where you came from. Okay? Don't try it over here, Miss, Miss, Miss Lady. Okay? Back to the pits of hell. I don't know nothing about you, Nuncia. I absolutely knows, know nothing about, about you. Nothing about you and I don't care for you. So whatever drama you're trying to dig up and put on your page about me so that people can, when they can't come set, you know, when they vultures them, when they demonic followers them, palm me, try not bother with it. I'm be a cakes over here, so. You understand me? You know, set of demons, you know, I'm look all and miserable like, you know. Eh? I saw you know, I'm look, you know, I'm look just like, you know. You know, I'm do take off my face and go to, you know. And you of all people, don't say, you had a stroke. You have no business putting things on your head that you don't need to put on your head because we all know how stroke operate. My dad had a stroke. You understand me? You have no business and stroke has to do with high blood pressure and stuff like that. What the hell are you doing on the internet getting in drama with people? What the hell are you doing on the internet starting drama? You're supposed to be somewhere on a beach sitting down trying to relax your little old self. Or buy some of my teas to help with your high blood pressure. Buy some sour sap tea or something like that. We all know what strokes are like. Why are you trying to pick up things on your head and rise up your blood pressure? What you want, another stroke? Let me tell you, Miss Lady. You see when that stroke lick you, God forbid, you understand? And you, you, you end up partially paralyzed somewhere. You think none of these people on the internet are going to give a shit about you? You think any of these people where you cuss me off, I'm going to give a shit about you? No, them just going to put up your picture and everybody going to come below it and say, Oh my God, Nuncia, get well soon. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. You know what I mean? That's all you're going to get. You should be concerned with your health. You're not supposed to be concerned with anything else but your health. You understand me? The last thing you need to be concerned with is 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 mixed up on social media because mentally you cannot handle it your high blood pressure can't handle them the pasa pasa you understand my dad had a stroke back in 2017 and it was the most frightening thing to see my dad partially paralyzed in his bed in his hospital bed they found him on the floor in his house unconscious they found him and they had to rush him in an ambulance and i had to fly down there you understand? I had to fly down there. I don't know how bad your stroke was, but my dad's stroke, I'm sharing that with you. I had to fly down there. And it was because of the aggressive therapy and the great medical care and the love and prayers of my family, my very large family. That's how he was able to rebound and walk again because that stroke paralyzed his left side of his body. And we all know about the left side of the body, what it does, the left side of the brain, how respond, what it is responsible for. You understand me? If it wasn't for his great medical care and his strength, he wouldn't have been walking again because he was left paralyzed. And I think I shared that journey with you guys here on social media. My dad is a walking man today. And I've seen a lot of people who don't, but who haven't, who got a stroke on the left side of their body and they haven't bounced back from it. So to see my dad within months bounce back and can't walk. And right about now, I don't even want him to think about anything. If me I do anything for him, I don't even make him know. Because I know them old people, they're already broken at them ways and all them something. So you can't really do things, you can't really upset them. Especially when they're, they're quick to, they have high blood pressure and stuff like that. I have to do things without him knowing. Because he will sit and dwell on it and I do not want to trigger another stroke. So Miss Lady, if God, yeah, gave you the opportunity to live again, focus on that. You understand me? Focus on that, Nuncia. You understand? Because the friends that you're trying to curse me out for, they will not give a damn about you. If it has nothing to do with money, they will not care about you. They'll offer you prayers and keep it moving and put up your picture and keep it moving. Think about your health, Miss Lady. You understand me? Social media drama and carelessness where you try to defend, it's not worth it. It's not going to work it, Miss Lady. 
I asked you, how are you doing? How are you feeling? I heard that you had a stroke. End of story. End of story. And you wanted to order a cake. You understand me? And that's it. And that one interaction you're trying to write four paragraphs in caps on social media about. You of all people have no shame. Because of all the things that you did and you went crying back and crawling back like a little puppy. You have no shame, lady. You have nothing about you. Take my name out of your mouth, please. I am running a business here. I am not running a mix-up yard. This is not lime tree lane where everybody come and lap them fractal and chat and... I'm running a business here. The only interaction and the chatting we do is when me and my, my followers, them a chat. And we talk about all sorts of things. We talk about man. We talk about business. We talk about upliftment. We, you know, we, we, we have different things to give to each other. You understand? And it's not mix up. We bless each, other's, we, each other with different, different things. You know? Some of you grown ass ladies need to understand in yourself. You know? What I need for understanding herself. Understand your age. I know, say, yo, if, if pasa pasa work for you, it doesn't work for everybody else. It doesn't work for me. I don't do pasa pasa, lady. Okay? for understanding the self as big woman i don't know where all of the big woman get into this habit now where uno are uno in a mix up uno just love mix up like i wonder where the bank account look like what your bank accounts look like it's supposed to be a lot of negatives and withdrawals and stuff like that just like on the minds you know just like on the minds just full of negativity and withdrawals nothing positive coming in yeah no credits you know i guarantee you this a lot of you big woman where i call up my name when i cannot sit down and give nobody any sound advice to motivate themselves and make them life better no no you can't do it when a woman will love the mix-up and butter when a butter is big woman will love the mix-up when you cannot sit down and give anyone business advice because guess what only don't even know what is a business you know don't even have an idea of what it is to run a business you know what i mean because only can't even bring anything positive to the people we sit down and lap them frap tail and watch you know hmm? can't ever bring nothing you can't have a feed when you can't have a feed the congregation and when I say feed, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you can't have a feed on the people them. I'm sure if they come to you and ask you, how is it, how do I start a business? I guarantee you this will happen. You will not know. You will not answer them. And you will not help them to start a business because you don't know. You can't do what you don't know. You understand? And most of the time, I entertain some of you on here because I had the time to do it. But really and truly, I can't wait for the busy season to come back where I just don't sooner again. Because when I'm not that busy, I get to sooner and uh, respond to and, and, and somehow become entangled in that mess. I just want to put my head back into my business then and just like just focus on that. You know, because I've realized that when a lot of you older women who are tormenting or are attempting to tear me down and torment my business, but realize that all on have one thing in common. You understand me? I realize they all have the same in common. On a common, on a love mix up. Love mix up. Y'all don't have no man. Hmm? our friends want to go out with go have lunch dates with her and stuff like that. And then I go brunches. Stuff like that. Y'all have no friends. Is that what it is? 
When I get to your ages, I'm not going to be like that, though. I'm going to tell you the God truth. I'm not going to be like none of y'all. None of y'all haters who want to come on social media and, and be miserable bitches. I'm not going to be like y'all. You will never see me lap fractal and I discuss certain things with people. You'll never see me do that because that's not me. If that works for you, that works for you. But I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my teas. Buy some tea. You know, buy some tea. I heard you have stroke problem. Buy some of my tea then. How about supporting my business? Support my business. Support my business for a change. Because I was very professional enough to respond to you when it came in my WhatsApp. If I was a nasty person, I would have insulted you in my WhatsApp. But no, business is business. You understand me? And when I see you, when I saw that you reached out to me and you wanted a cake, I said, okay, whatever. I said, who is this? Um, no, you know? And I was like, wow, wow. Hi, you know, I'm not, ex I wasn't expecting that. But I put whatever aside because you wanted a cake. And I left it right there. Right there I left it. The message is, is in my old phone that I, I, I don't use anymore. But I left it right there, baby love. Now what's the problem, baby? What's the problem now? A, a whole almost two years later. Oh my God.